there, my name is Samuel, welcome back to another video where today we should be taking a look at the set 75311 Imperial Armoured Marauder which does include 478 pieces, wow, okay I've not read that piece count for literally months until I, really I've run since I've done the news video. Blimey, okay, that's a lot more than I thought, and it does cost £35, $40, and €40, Euros. and this set, honestly, is absolutely just incredible, and especially now that I've read the piece count, I know that doesn't affect it, but it makes it feel like a better deal as well, but taking that out of the equation here, this, honestly, is a really fantastic set, you get an excellent Grief Cargo minifigure, you get a Mordor Trooper, I believe, on Credible, two Stormtroopers, which the helmet is slowly, finally growing on me, and then you get this build, which, honestly, I really like this build, I think it's just absolutely absolutely perfect like i honestly think this was a set like i said i weren't really gonna get the first time round, but yeah then i saw it and i kind of had to spend over the limit if i wanted to get the freebie and i was like yeah i guess i'll go for it but yeah this set honestly is just absolutely fantastic like it's one of those star wars sets that you look and you go oh it's a gray ship it's a gray car it looks i don't know boring it doesn't look that good but when you have it in person it's much bigger than you thought and when you're actually just looking at it it feels really like just really worth your money and when you actually like looking at it and building it it also just feels really fun so yeah this honestly is a really awesome set and the fact that how many pieces it's got has just made it even that better but i try not to let that influence my opinion but of course it will a little bit but yeah still let's quickly take a look at the minifigures so it starts it off by taking a look at grief cargo straight off the bat you can see that this minifigure is highly detailed in fact i think this is one of the most detailed minifigures of the year especially for the mandalorian and well really any star wars set or in general most things but yeah you can see he has some um coat towel printing has some body printing and his face printing honestly looks absolutely incredible the beard i think he's done really well the sadly no expression which i don't get why there isn't but it is a really good minifigure though actually well yeah it doesn't really show that much so i'm not completely sure they generally do that but still this minifigure is just absolutely incredible just taking a look at the minifigure and just just look at his printing honestly just look at the printing there it's absolutely just fantastic just how this is done the grief cargo minifigure is just honestly absolutely incredible it's much better definitely than the other one that we got mainly because of the leg printing but yeah that is the grief cargo minifigure which honestly is absolutely incredible so then taking a look at what lego names the artillery stormtrooper i believe this is actually a mordor stormtrooper which honestly is kind of a shame that lego butchered the name yet there but yeah this minifigure honestly is absolutely incredible the yellow highlighting to me just works so well with the white honestly i think it's great you can see it has a little pauldron there, which is really neat to see. He's got the printing, which this actually is the same as the Stormtrooper, which we'll take a look at that in a minute. But yeah, you can see it's literally the same. The main difference is just the fact that it has all the yellow highlighting. I think it's really cool. And it has that facial expression, which is pretty cool to see. And if we actually remove his head, you can see actually he does have a backpack, which I think is really neat. I'm actually removing that. You can see what his back printing looks like, which I think is really nice. Like I think the printing is a little bit fuzzy, but still looks really awesome. But yeah, the Mordor Trooper is definitely really awesome it's a shame that we don't have the like the older helmet but still i'm kind of grinding on this helmet a little bit which also my apologies i forgot to quickly show you that the fact that he does include a cannon here which i think this cannon is a really neat build of course he just fires out the top and yeah that's what it looks like that is a really neat little build and there is the mortal trooper again such an incredible minifigure like i definitely think that's one of the highlights of this set which then taking a look at the two other minifigures they're just plain old stormtroopers which honestly is really neat to see and this time around they're actually starting to give them different facial print which we got a female there then we have a male here which honestly it's really cool to see that they're finally going away from the angry clone face and i think we can officially say that that face print is done i think hopefully fingers crossed because now we've got the clone face and we got this which honestly the direction they're going in with the troopers is finally looking good hopefully we won't have any imperial office in battle packs and we'll be perfect to go but there you can see they're printing honestly really awesome minifigures so yeah those are those very cool minifigures so starting off by taking a look at the actual vehicle itself you can see from the side view this honestly has got so much detail greebling just elements which honestly really round it off nicely taking a look at the side you can see that we have a stud shooter there you can see that we have a door there's a little gap but that honestly isn't a problem we have a little handle which i'll show you what that does in a second you can see that we have a turret where you can do what which can do a 180 which honestly i really like the fact you can do that i think and that is absolutely just really neat you can see we have a little handle there we have a little crate here which actually taking a look at the crate you can see it's actually the imperial one which i believe 
believe this could be the same print that was introduced in the Rebels line of sets, which there you can see that it literally has nothing in there. I thought it would put studs, the spare studs, maybe put one or two in there, but it doesn't, which is kind of weird. But taking a look in there, you can see it's just a little storage unit space, which honestly is really good. It uses some space up, which is really cool. Again, a little gap, but that really isn't a problem. You've got the thrusters here, which I really like the way the thrusters done. Instead of putting it on like a normal plate, it wants you to connect it with the two middle parts, which makes it more centralized which I think that is just such a neat feature. You can see that we have another massive back door. You can see that we actually have a turret, which I'll show you that in a minute. You can see we have some more thrusters and everything. Again, we have another unit. It's literally just the same as the other. A turret, and yeah, it's basically the same. So yeah, that's what it looks like. You can see that we have the Stormtrooper there, which honestly looks absolutely incredible. I think it just looks really neat the way it's done. But yeah, moving back around to the side, you simply just pull this up and pull that down, which literally just reveals the interior. You can do it, of course, to the other side, maybe push it forward. But yeah, you can see that we actually have got some interior space, which that is what I want to take a look at in a minute. Taking a look at the actual roof, you can see that there's quite a lot of plating, quite a lot of detail. And honestly, I think the roof is done really nice. I just love how this set has just got detail everywhere. Honestly, it looks absolutely incredible. You can see you have a minifigure plate there, which is quite funny how that came in an exclusive Target Cube in America. But now it's like coming here as well and just so many sets now. It's really cool to see that. And you can see there's actually a trap door, which actually lets you get into the interior. And then, honestly, I think that's really nice. There is a turret at the back here, which can only do about a 180, maybe a 160, somewhere around that degree turn. But it still looks really cool. You can see what it looks like. And, yeah, that's what the roof this looks like. It honestly looks absolutely incredible. But, yeah, if we move back down to the front, you can see that there's actually a way to get the Stormtrooper out. And you simply just lift that up and lift it down. And there you go. It's absolutely simple. You can see that we have the control panel, which is really cool. You can see we have the print there, which I really like how that's done. It's a shame that there's quite a lot of just space there but it is of course so it can work perfectly to get it in there of course i think it should be able to sit two side by side but we know lego don't normally typically do that then to close it on up you simply just have to lift it up and pull that down and yeah it, honestly it's done really well i just love how that's done it's just done really well like honestly it's one of those sets i think it's just done well you can see we have a door here and we have a door here which moving them down you can see there's quite a bit of space on the interior and then moving on back to the back again you can see that there of course is a little hole and the idea is is that you actually can grab a minifigure and you can simply just put them in so if we move that on down you can see that there's actually a glass window i believe the reason they've done that is well to make sure the turret can't turn all the way which honestly i don't think is too much of an issue but yeah you can simply put the stormtrooper in there you do have to remove their blaster which honestly isn't too much of a problem you put that in and there you can see the stormtrooper in there which honestly i think is just another really cool feature with the turret and yeah that is honestly really cool and they fit in there really well which is really cool and yeah that's basically it there's not much else to show i guess apart from the interior yes there is actually an interior to this which is really cool to see that there is actually space you could technically fit five minifigures in here you would of course put one in the front you would put one at the back. Then you could at least fit a three more in here. You've got two seats there. So that would at least be two. And you could most probably fit one or two in there as well. Which honestly is incredible. Shame that they don't give you more minifigures. But I still mean it's absolutely fine. Like it's really cool. Just the way that you have that option. But yeah that is what the Armored Marauder looks like. Honestly this is just such a fantastic set. Like I think the detailing is really cool. You can see that we actually do have a side window there and there. And can I just say apologies for the light overexposure. I have no clue. It started doing it with the Ninjago set reviews and it's not stopped. So I'm still working trying to figure that out and I'm currently coming to know about there. But yeah, this honestly is absolutely fantastic. So now let's go to my final thoughts on this absolutely incredible set. So there we have it. I hope you did enjoy this review, this video. Overall, I think this set honestly is absolutely incredible. And a side note, this set only has nine pieces or less than the general Grievous Starfighter. It has a better minifigure. The build, I think, is better. And the fact that this is £30 less. I mean, £40, sorry. What am I on about? £40 less. What? I don't get that. That set, honestly, is overpriced. But yeah, this set, in my opinion, is absolutely incredible. I think this is just such a great deal. It was one of those sets I weren't completely sure. That when I saw the photos, I was like, I want to get it. It's a Mandalorian set. But when I was get, like thinking about what I wanted to get on the day, I weren't sure if I wanted to get this. But I'm so glad I did. This set, 
honestly it's something so unique and to me it's fresh and it feels like a complete build like it feels really accurate just everything about this set just feels perfectly done just all the features it's great it's got a great amount of features it's got the fact that the doors open really nicely i like the detail i just think this set honestly it's just a phenomenal set and i really can't say many more great things about it because that's all, all i want to say it's just an absolute fantastic set and i recommend it full price i'd very rarely say it this day and age especially with doing the mario sets and all that but i mean even for star wars one of the most overpriced themes this is just one of the best lego star wars deals i think you're ever going to get it's honestly just such an incredible set and yeah i'm going to call it short before i hit two minutes again i've already done this outro because i can't stop talking about this so thank you all for watching this video what do you think leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and until tomorrow's video see you there bye for now